looks like we have a new viewer. Come on in. And there's more coming. We're going to have a house full. We're going to have a house full of viewers. So I'm going to do this garlic, light this baby once again, put it on low. What's that cook's name on TV? The guy that just annoys everybody right up the wall, but he's got a huge following. I forget his name. He would likely not approve of my methods of cooking. But I say, you know what? I don't approve of you being as obnoxious as you are. So there. Does anybody know who I'm talking about? I think his show's name is Hell's Kitchen. Ramsey. Ramsey, I don't think very much of your show all that hype. I think a show's got to be real, not hyped up like that. And one thing I will say about my show is that there is no hype because I don't like hype, especially when it's all mass produced. And all this time, I thought the only reason they hired me was to generate hype. It was either that, or maybe it was only because of my good looks. The purpose of what I'm doing here, folks, is not to teach you anything other than whether you're a cook or not a cook, you can become a vegan. Because if I can become one, you can. That's as simple as it is. Because I'm not a cook. Far from it as you can see. And if you find any humor in what I'm doing, if you want to laugh, go ahead. I don't mind. Yeah, I should have put this garlic in with the onion and the walnuts. I'll try and remember that the next time. that animals go through just to give the meat eaters the pleasure of taste. They don't eat beef because it's healthy for them. They eat it because they love the taste. They don't eat chicken because it's healthy for them. They eat it because of the taste. Well, you know what? As far as I'm concerned, beef and chicken does not taste like it used to when I was a kid. It's been a steady decline in taste over the decades. And I believe that the decline in taste is directly attributed to the amount of stress that these animals go through. Now, I can imagine as a result of the world's population probably uh, close to doubling in the last 40 years, that the demand for meat has increased and so the methods of killing an animal have had to uh, sped up in order to keep up with the demand and uh, uh, nobody has any time to waste because time is money and they just want to get their animals processed. I can understand that from a business perspective but when it comes to being needlessly cruel to animals I say, what the hell? So the garlic is now in my mixture of beans, paprika, chili, walnuts, 
and soon to be quinoa. Now, I ate some black bean burgers just three or four days ago that my friend made and they were delicious. And I said to myself, why would anybody eat beef when they can eat this? If anything, it tasted better than beef. Now, have you ever noticed when you buy hamburger at the grocery store, how the inside of the package of hamburger is usually darker on the brownish side compared to what you see through the cellophane. But even before I expose this piece here, I want to tell you that my experience is that when you buy hamburger, it's red on the outside and usually brown in the center. And I want to see if that's how this is. they're up to it again you just can't trust those meat departments and I believe I could be wrong but I believe and I'd be willing to bet on this belief that they are taking weak old beef mixing it in with the current fresher beef in order to sell their old inventory and that is very misleading if nothing else now let's have a look at this quinoa here and see what's taking place ah, i'd say it's cooked i don't know what it's supposed to look like but uh it kind of looks like fish eggs but um I'm going to mix this in with the black beans. I might have cooked too much, but this is a uh, work in progress. I'm learning. And until somebody comes up with a point-by-point -point recipe without giving me all the hype, then maybe I'll follow a recipe. So here's the quinoa with the black beans. And that's not too hot. I'm just going to mix this up here. We interrupt their very important cooking show to deliver this equally important breakfast cereal message. Breakfast of vegan cowboys. Ooh, might be too much quinoa. That was my fear. That doesn't, doesn't look that great. <laughs> oh, man. Doesn't look that great. But I will make it taste great somehow. And even if it doesn't taste great, I will eat it anyway. I know this looks disgusting. But I do have a suspicion that whenever I wrap these guys together as a burger patty, that uh, they are, are going to stick. Yeah, they're probably going to stick. So here comes the test of whether or not I can shape these guys into a patty. Well, bare hands, I'll use it. I think something's missing. I think something's missing. No well, big deal if they don't stick together. Don't worry, my hands are clean. Well, it looks like I made enough here to uh, feed an army. But you know, they, they could probably taste good. 
I know that people put barbecue sauce in them, but I don't eat barbecue sauce. I haven't eaten barbecue sauce for years. Just because I don't trust what they put into that stuff. And I don't eat ketchup. But I'm sure I'm missing a few ingredients in here. I should take a minute and check one of these novels and see what's missing. But it's kind of too late because I've already got my patties shaped in, in the pan. I know you're laughing. Yeah. Okay, well that's a good start. <coughs> Pull it down, Bugu. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, this is something I missed to put in. Soy sauce. I think that that adds something to the flavor, if I'm not mistaken. Something called tamari. I'll see you, tamari. Why do they package these things that you can't get into them? That's another annoying thing. They don't call me the old grump for nothing. I am an old grump. In my opinion, there is no need to have a packaging such as this. Like, what does a person do if they've got arthritis? They're never going to get into it. I'm going to put a little drop or two into each one. Anyway, I'm um, a full-time RVer, and I work as a renovator, and when I get home at the end of the day, I am pretty bagged as a role. Right now, I'm doing some exterior painting, and honestly, it's really hard work when you're up on a ladder all day. Up and down, up and down. I'm just curious to see what's happening underneath here. Huh? I guess it's cooking. That's what the heat's all about. I'm just going to turn it down because I don't think it has to be cooked at a really high heat. Now, just quickly, I've got some navy beans over here that are soaking. I just put them in earlier today. Doing my very first batch of homemade beans, which I love immensely. And I don't have ketchup, and I'm struggling with that because I do love the taste of homemade beans with ketchup but I'll figure something else out because <coughs> I didn't sneeze in the burger so don't worry about that well they don't stick together that well so if I was cooking these on a grill I would be having a little bit of a problem but seeing that I'm cooking them on a frying pan. They, they are sticky, but uh, <laughs> not enough, I guess. The joys of living in an RV, folks. If you're claustrophobic, don't do it. Because I'm not claustrophobic. I've worked in little tiny spots where I was there for the whole day long and I managed to hold off the feelings of claustrophobia. But if you're claustrophobic, you will not do well in a trailer because the floor space is rather limited. 
and especially if you have a pet you know your pet can typically be underfoot and my girl sometimes comes underfoot but she's been pretty good and she is lying there underneath the table and once in a while she gets into my feet for the most part it's not too bad but if you have a needy cat or a needy dog that needs to be with you all the time then don't move into an RV and if you do make sure it's big enough for you this unit I think is what 20 feet or 24 feet I can't remember but well, let's see what happens here. Oh! Well, that didn't go so well. But you know what's critical here is not so much how well it holds together, in my opinion. It's how well it tastes. And let's see. Look at the color is not bad. What do you think? That one held together. Hey, look at that. I'm getting excited. <laughs> so I'm going to have a smoke and let these guys simmer. And hopefully I don't set my place on fire in the meantime. Black Bean Burger Burns Down RV. I can read the headlines now. It doesn't pay to be vegan. Anyway, I'm going for a little shot of brandy and a smoke. Incidentally, I roll my own tobacco. I've been smoking this for decades. And people might say, yeah, you're a vegan, but you smoke. Well, you know what? I smoke, but I smoke hand-rolled drum tobacco. And you will never hear a cough coming out of my lungs. Never. And I will do a video on this one day. A complete video. Not that I'm suggesting anybody become a smoker. But if you are a smoker, get the heck off of filtered cigarettes. That's what kills you. But we'll talk about that later. I'm back again in great depth. That was a good smoke. I'm just going to check this out. I'm going to flip these guys over a little bit more. They're uh, standing somewhat firm, I can't believe it. Oh, I must have done something right. <laughs> 